I think this is an example of a number of things. First of all, India's determination to create uh, independent relationships with as many of the significant players in East Asia as possible, in this case Vietnam. Uh, secondly, it is a response to what in India and for that matter in the United States is perceived as an increasingly uh, assertive and in-your-face Chinese policy uh, making uh, claims of preeminence in the South China Sea that the United States hasn't accepted uh, and that the other riparians in the South China Sea uh, apparently would prefer not to accept. Um, it's my observation that when you have uh, Chinese statements or policies sticking fingers in India's collective eye, like the visa issue with people from Arunachal Pradesh, uh, that tends to bring uh, India into closer dialogue with the United States. But I would say that East Asia in general, and China in particular, uh, is one of the areas where the U.S. and India have finally been quite successful in establishing a serious professional dialogue. Uh, you've had Kurt Campbell, who's the Assistant Secretary of State for uh, East Asia, uh, and his counterpart, um, they've gotten together, what is it now, four times or perhaps more in the past year and a half. Um, and it's no surprise that this is taking place in an area where India and the United States feel they have quite similar interests. 